My name is uh, Elizabeth Murphy Lovely. I'm uh, a nurse here at the clinic. Uh, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. May I come in? Yes. Yes. Um, so I see that my colleague was just pre previously here asking you uh, quite a bit of questions. And I hear that you're coming in for uh, some headaches that you've been uh, living for quite some time. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're going to skip that dish, that, that part since it's already been done, if that's all right with you. Mm -hmm. But please feel free, if ever you do not feel any comfortable doing any of the tests that I'm going to be, or questions I'll be performing, we'll go on to doing something else. Okay. Can we proceed? Yes. Great. May I get your name, please? Mary Lou. Mary Lou. And what's your date of birth? May 1st, 1985. And can you tell us where you are? I'm at the clinic. Yes. Uh, which clinic? What's the name of the clinic? McGill Ingram School of Nursing Clinic. Okay. So I see that you're alert. You're oriented to person, place, and time. Uh, could you uh, tell me also, um, could you just raise your hands for me? Yes, so I see that you're able to obey my commands uh, and that your eyes were open, spontane they're spontaneous, they're open. So I'm also assessing your Moscow Coma Scale, which is of a total score of 15 on 15. Uh, I see that your posture is that you're lying down comfortably with your legs uh, well aligned, with your hands calmly on your thighs. You seem to have some... Uh, some some smiling, uh, some neutral uh, expressions, and um, I see that you're not necessarily in distress, except for the, the headaches that mm -hmm. have been lingering for quite some time. Uh, and <clears throat> I see that I don't see any involuntary movements of your of your hands, so I don't see any shaking either. Now we're going to go and do the cranial nerve assessment. So cranial nerves, there is cranial nerve 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Some are sensory, some are motor, some are sensory and motor. So we're going to be testing all of these uh, nerves uh, in the next few minutes. So the first nerve is the olfactory uh, nerve, which is cranial nerve number 1, and it's a sensory uh, component. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to block one uh, nostril, and you're going to tell me what you are smelling. Cinnamon. That's correct. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to block with one hand the nostril, and you're going to tell me what this smell is. Coffee. Coffee. Excellent. So cranial nerve number one is uh, intact. So then we're going to assess your cranial nerve number two which is the optic nerve, and it's a sensory nerve. We're going to first assess your visual acuity, and by doing that, we're going to use a pocket snellen. And where we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to uh, block one of your eyes with this. And uh, you can maybe start a little bit lower down. Do you see, can you read me these numbers? Eight, seven, four, five. Now continue until you cannot read them. 6392547288365 Excellent. Now you're going to block the other eye and you're going to do the same thing. You can start maybe at the same numbers. 8745 63925 Four two eight three six five three seven four two five eight nine three seven eight two six four two eight seven three nine. So when I'm reading, uh, your score would be a twenty on twenty division. Now I'm going to ask you to sit on the side of the bed, and again you're going to block your uh, one hand, and I'm going to make sure that I'm at eye level and I'm going to block the same eye. Now, do you see these two fingers? Yes. Now, do you see them now? Yes, no. No, no you're going to look at me straight, right? So, you're going to tell me when you see my fingers thumb and move. Now. Excellent. Now. 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 Excellent. We're going to do it now on the other side. Now. 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 
cranial number, cranial nerve number two is intact. Now we're going to assess the oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens nerves, which are uh, part of the eyes. It's a motor uh, component. What I'm going to ask you, first I'm going to assess your, pupu pupu your pupillary size and reflex. So just by looking at normal length, I see that the size of your pupils are about size 4, which is in normal range. Now I'm going to shine a light and I'm going to look at the pupils constrict. Excellent. So both pupils we, uh, are equal and reactive to light. Now do you see this pen? Mm -hmm. And you are going to follow it. Uh, in the different cardinal fields. It's called the cardinal field of gaze. You're going to follow it just with your eyes. Are you going to continue to focus on this? And we're just going to make it a little closer to see if your eyes go inward. Excellent. And they, so your pupils are equal and reactive to light, and they are round, and they accommodate also to light. Pupil size 4. Now we are going to assess the uh, trigeminal, trigeminal nerve, which is cranial nerve number 5, which is a motor and sensory nerve. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to uh, close your eyes, and we're going to assess the sensory. Do you feel this? Yes. Yes. So you're going to say now, and I'm going to assess. You just tell me if you feel that. Now. 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 Excellent. Now. Now I'm going to assess your temporalis muscle. I ask you to squeeze, uh, squint your, uh, squint your uh, eyes. But it's nice and strong. Now I'm going to assess your masseter muscle and ask you to clench your teeth. And it's nice and strong also. Now we're going to assess your facial nerve, which is cranial nerve number seven, uh, which is a motor and sensory. I'm going to ask you to smile, uh, frown, close, uh, oh, uh, bring your eye up. yes, bring your eyebrows up, close your eyes and squint. All right. Now you're going to open your, you're going to put air in your cheeks, off your cheeks, and just see if there's some resistance. Excellent. Now we're going to do the acoustic uh, nerve, which is cranial nerve number eight, which is a sensory nerve. I'm going to do the voice whisper test. I'm going to tell you a word and you're going to repeat after me. Okay. November. I'm going to do it on the other side and get there. Neurology. Excellent. Now I'm going to assess cranial nerve number 9 and 10, so glossopharyngeal and vagus nerve together. They are a motor and sensory components. I uh, would assess the gag reflex and uh, the speech. And uh, do you feel you have any trouble with uh, swallowing? No. No? Can you swallow for me? And there's no coughing, you don't feel anything going into your throat? No. No. All right. Now I'm going to put a tongue depressor. I will not assess right now your gag reflex, um, just for the point that you don't want your breakfast on the ground right now. Uh, and, uh, but I would assess by touching lightly on the uh, side of, uh, of the tongue in the back. What I will do is I do want to look at your back of your mouth, uvula, and say, ah. Ah. And I see that your uvula goes up, midline, and straight. There's no deviation. What I'd like you to do also is, um, what we would normally do is also ask you to taste something. But right now, due to allergies that you may have, we'll, uh, we will uh, skip it. But uh, do you feel that there's any changes in your taste lately? No, not that I've noticed. Okay. Now we're going to do this final accessory nerve, which is cranial nerve number 11. Uh, and it's a motor 
uh, nerve. So I will assess your trapezius muscle. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to shrug your shoulders. And now I'm going to bring them down and I'm going to go with resistance. So you bring them up again. And they're nice and strong bilaterally. Now I'm going to ask, uh, assess your sternomastoid muscle. So I'm going to get asked to turn and rotate your, your neck. And then resist me on turning. Exactly. And on the other side, we'll do the same thing. Strength as well, and your rotation also is is very good. Also, twelve plus, which is primarily a motor component. So I'm going to ask you to uh, say la 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 la, and then say light, tight, dynamite. Light, tight, dynamite. And just stick out your tongue. And I see it's nice and straight and it doesn't deviate to any side. When we finish the cranial nerves, we uh, are going to do a sensory assessment. Right? Throughout the whole test, I'm going to ask you to, during the test, to close your eyes. Alright? First, we're going to do the light touch and sharp touch examination. Okay? You close your eyes. This is dull, okay. okay, and this is sharp. Okay, you see the difference? Yes, yes. So you're going to tell me where, uh, what you feel. Okay. okay. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. we're going to do the two-point discrimination. I'm going to ask you to turn your hand and normally I would assess both sides. I will compare both sides. I'm going to do it with just one. Now close your eyes and do you feel one or two points? Two. You're going to tell me when you feel just one. Now. As you can see that the two points are almost close to each other and they are in between the range of two to eight millimeters, which is means it's intact. Now we're gonna do the forearm. You can keep it this way. Here, do you feel one or two points? Two. Okay, do you feel one or two points? Two. Do you feel one or two points? Two. One or two points? One. One. Now, here, it's about a measurement of three centimeters. I can maybe go a little bit more is this one or two points? One. One. So I see that the it is uh, within the normal range of between four to seven and a half centimeters. So this is intact also. And then I would do the other hand. Now we're going to do <coughs> point localization. So I'm going to point you a face. You're going to tell me and point me where uh, where I'm, I'm I'm touching. So if I'm touching your right hand, you're going to tell me, you're going to point with the other hand, the right side, and you're going to say right hand. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> then close your eyes. My right, your, my right arm. My left arm. My left leg. My right thigh. My left foot. My right foot. Very good. Now we're going to assess uh, Graphesthesia. So I'm going to ask you to open your hand and I'm going to put, it, uh, put a number. You're going to tell me what the number is. Okay? Okay. One. The other hand. Three. Excellent. Now we're going to do stereogenesis is identifying the objects. Keep your finger, your, your eyes closed. And you are going to give me your hand. You're going to tell me what is this object in your hand. Let me know what it is. A paper clip. A paper clip. Can you do it on the other hand? Um, a coin. A coin. So your sensory uh, component of your exam is intact. 
Now we're gonna do the motor. The motor. Uh, we're gonna do the motor strength. So you can stay this way. I'm just gonna ask you to take. I'm gonna take two fingers and I'm gonna squeeze my hand. Now I'm gonna push towards me. And you're gonna resist my strength. Excellent. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna go uh, towards you, and I'm going to resist again. You're gonna resist again. So your strength is very good bilaterally. Now we're going to assess your lower limb strengths. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to point your toes and press my hand. Excellent. I'm going to do the other side. And you're going to press down on my hand. Very good. And very good. So you press down. Your strength is equal bilaterally and very strong. We're going to do the pronator drift. Pronator drift, you're going to bring your hands outwards and leave them this way. And you're going to close your eyes. And what I'm looking for is to see if there is any drift on either on the right side or the left side. Normally calculate until 10 seconds. And okay, you can bring down your hands. I see that there's no pronator drift, no weakness on either side. Now I'm going to assess your gait. So if you can stand up. And I'm going to ask you to walk normally all the way to the wall. Okay. I see that your arms are swaying to the side and your posture is erect, so it's nice and straight and you'll move forward when you're walking. Doesn't seem to be any shuffled gait either. Now I'm going to ask you to take this line and you're going to go heel to toe and walk along that line up to me. If you can, move forward. Very good. Your gait, uh, your walk is intact. Now I'm going to assess your reflexes. So, <clears throat> excellent. So now I'm going to ask, uh, assess your reflex. So I'm going to ask, uh, assess your brachial radialis. One way is putting your hands together. Yes. You can loosen up your your, uh, your, th your your thumbs exactly, and maybe think of something else or look at me. And I'm going to I'm just going to make a little knot. And I see that your reflex is about a plus two. And here's your watch. It's going to go a bit higher than your watch. And plus two. Now I'm going to do your bicep. And you try to find your tendon. Flex your hand. And you can relax onto my arm. Okay. Plus one. Plus one. I'm going to do the triceps. So just make your hands like this and you're going to relax onto my hand, put all the weight on it. Okay, plus, almost plus three. Same thing, relax your shoulder. Plus three. Do the patellar right below the bone in between the tibia and the patellar. Now what I'm going to ask you is relax your leg. You're going to take your hands and you're going to focus on stretching your hands out. Excellent. Press three. And now you're going to relax. You're going to do your Achilles. neurological assessment and uh, now I'm going to go on and do my nursing impressions. Have any questions for me? Thank you very much for your time.